Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here coming to you from Prattville, Alabama. What is in Prattville, Alabama? Well, a plethora of goodness, including me, and also including this right here, this awesome old school abandoned cotton gin. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. It's very early. It's kind of cool. The weather's definitely changing. I'm on day three or four of this current road trip, and I found some stairs right over here. I'm just going to climb up these stairs and take you and I and everyone else watching this vlog blog up the stairs vicariously. We're going to get a closer look, hopefully, at this cotton gin here. Look at these stairs in Prattville, Alabama. Oh, there's a guy sitting over here just waiting. Say hello to Joey, everyone, right here. He's waving. Hopefully I'm not going to fall down these stairs as I go up close. We're going to say hello to Joey momentarily, but let me show you inside here first. Look at this. It's an old pump room. All kind of bells and whistles and pulleys. You can pull on those. You can turn. Turn these. Look at this. so cool. Look at that. The sun's in my eyes. I don't have my sunglasses. Should have brought my sunglasses with me. So look how impressive this is. Not, not how impressive Joey is, but how impressive this is over here. Joey is a resident of Prattville, and he was sharing some information. He's drinking his coffee. I don't have a coffee. He's stingy with his coffiness. I don't have my coffee, but he's got a coffee. So I'm now living vicariously through his coffee. I'm going to get a coffee after I go check this out. I'm not really sure how close I can get up to that, but there is a ladder right there. I'm feeling kind of... Say hello. Say something. Hello. All right. He actually does talk. He does communicate with the masses. I'm going to climb up this. I don't know if I should. <laughs> I'm going up. He's going to watch from afar down below. Look at this, this is awesome. 1839, right? Founded in 1839, these buildings have been in use since 1850. 1839, Daniel Pratt, hence the name Prattville, local resident and self-proclaimed historian right down here, telling us the info of Prattville. I never even really knew this existed until he told me about it. He brought me out here this early morning Stop to get some coffee. Like I said, he had a coffee or has a coffee. I have no coffee. I failed on the coffee aspect. Are right, you just going to wait down there? He's going to just wait down there. I'm going to hopefully walk around and not break my ankle. But I do want to show you these items. Look at this. This is cool. He's going inside to check out the pump room that's over there. Are you leaving us? Are you leaving us? All right, he's going that way. He's going that way. We're going this way. I think he's afraid. Maybe he realizes I shouldn't be hanging out with this guy, walking around areas he does not belong. But we're going to venture on anyway. We're going to venture on closer to this. It's pretty secured up. There's a lot of no trespassing signs over there. So we're probably not going to get inside. But I just wanted to show you how cool this is. This awesome old school cotton gin buildings here. Lots of abandoned buildings in Prattville. And also this waterway. Imagine falling down this. Look at this. I could probably walk along this railing. There's Joey way over there. Look at him right there. You should wave at him. You should wave at him. We're waving at you! He's afraid to walk on this. I should be too to walk along this edge. But I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Look at this, down below. Look how, look at this. I'm walking along the edge here. I made it. I teetered right along that little edge and now I am up on here. I really hope this is safe. This is kind of sketchy and scary.
Here we have the calm water, the calm water right here and the very busy bustling water right down below us, leading down. If you look right over there, there's some little wooden pegs right where my finger is. That used to be the railroad track. The railroad tracks would come in across this way and go right up to the cotton gin. They would load up the railroad tracks and then take off into the nether regions of cotton gin delivery goodness. And it all originated right here in Prattville at this awesome cotton gin that is now completely abandoned. What do you think these are? These are awesome. What do you think these are? I'm gonna have to do the limbo under this. Whoa. We're just moving on. I'm not stopping. I'm going all the way to the end. There's underground tunnels underneath this. I think they've actually done some ghost hunters or some ghost adventure shows in this little area. It would be cool to get inside and check this out. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll film a full video here. Or maybe I'll just stop right here at the edge of this area. Maybe I won't go any farther. Look at this contraption they're using to thwart people from going into the river and into the nether regions inside there. Look at that broken windows. That door is wide open, wide open right here. But there is barbed wire, there is a fence, so I'm not gonna jump the fence. I'm hanging out with Joey today. Joey's showing me around some of the sights and sounds of Prattville. So make sure you go on Instagram and you can see some of the photos all around the Prattville, Alabama area including this. You can see him way over there taking photos. I don't know if he's Instagramming or Twittering or Facebooking, but I'm going to be doing that later. Make sure you check down below, not only for my t-shirts, but also down below you can see how you can get a hold of me on the social networks. Get a hold of me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram by checking the links down below. And also, subscribe up here and up here, and I'm going to see you tomorrow, wheel. Look at this metal rusted wheel right here. It's a metal rusted wheel. I'm trying not to really touch it because I might get rust on my hand, which might vicariously go into my elbow region, into my armpit region, and then my whole body will be filled with abandoned rust. Abandoned rust. I'm feeling pretty good. It feels good out here. Road trip is going well so far. Thanks for asking, ma'am and sir and children. What do you think these wires are? All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna give you one last 360 or maybe a 720 or even a 1090 or a 1640 because I'm spinning around completely. I don't think those mathematical numbers added up correctly but I'm getting dizzy and I think I might actually fall into the nether regions of the water down there. Oh, I got rust on my neck. I got rust on my neck.